Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. It's been ages since I filmed, but I'm back now. I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty, the Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. On my channel, I have reviewed already the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Software Longwear Foundation, and I also reviewed the Powder Foundation and I am in the shade 420 for both. So I know I'm late to the bandwagon, but um, I have arrived. I'm not really a huge fan of like tinted moisturizers. However, it's getting really hot here in the UK and my skin can just not bear normal foundation. So I'm gonna try this one out. I did buy it online, did not do a like skin match test or anything like that. So I don't know whether it's too light, I don't know if it's too dark, I just don't know. I picked up a shade 19. Um, the shade 20 and 21 was unfortunately out of stock. So I had to just go with the 19 and fingers, and fingers crossed. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jennifer Is On, and I'll be uploading twice a week. Wednesdays and Sundays and for those who are returning as always thank you so much for watching another one of my videos the first thing I'm going to do is powder my face now I learned this from Jackie Ina and um, she has oily skin and whenever she does her foundation or whenever she's about to apply her beat she's always using a translucent powder and this is just to sort of control the shine throughout the day and I feel like powder just soaks up all the oil this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder in the honey and guys I'm not like a makeup professional I only know how to do makeup on myself and my makeup is really basic I'm nowhere near Jackie Ina's level or anything like that um and to be fair I feel like how my makeup has gone down because I just don't wear makeup anymore um so i love doing videos like this because it just helps me practice and you know i get to see like <laughs> how i do my makeup basically now i'm gonna go in with the skin tint i'm actually gonna use my hands for this because i've seen a lot of girls use their hands so i'm just gonna use my hands and because it's a very lightweight um formula I feel like it's gonna get soaked up if you use like a brush or use a sponge. So I'm just gonna use my hands. Come on, <laughs> let's see. Okay, the packaging feels a bit cheap, like it is, it's plastic. Very different to like her other stuff she's done. So like this feels like really good quality and just, just feels like plastic. And I could already tell it's gonna be too light for me. So, <laughs> you know when you, on TikTok and on like Instagram when girls do, so cute. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna use my hands and this may get really messy. So let's just see how it goes. Okay. Hmm, what do you guys think? Do you think it's my color? I feel like it's a bit too light for my skin, but let's just blend it all in. I do feel like I put too much on my forehead, but we move, we move. I'm now just gonna use a foundation brush just to blend out some of the excess because I did use too much. So I'm not gonna conceal my under eye and I'm using the Nabla Close Up Stay Full Smooth Concealer and I'm in a shade Warm Honey. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the inner corners of my eye. Well, not in the inner corners, but in the corners of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Concealer Shape Tape. And this is in the tan sand. So I can't use this alone because it's just too light for me. So I have to mix. I'm going to put that on top. And then I'm going to blend that out. And then I'm just going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Honey. And I'm also going to just put it down the bridge of my nose. This is like a new thing that I've been doing, guys. <laughs> it's a new thing I've been doing. Um, it just helps my makeup down for a little bit longer. I want to put some here. And then put some here. And usually I would have put my concealer here. But instead of concealer, I'm actually going to use my powder. 
Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and for my eyebrows, I keep it very basic. I use MAC, um, the eyebrow pencil, and I use the shade Stud. And then I'm going to fill them in with the other side. And I start with the bottom first. To create the outline and I use really light strokes and then I'll brush it out I'm now using a concealer from MAC and this is a studio finish concealer in NC50 which is my shade in MAC and I'm just going to use it to clean up the bottom of my eyebrows I'm going to do the same with this eye. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Mocha Mummy just to lightly bronze my face. Um, I don't think I need it that much, but I'm just going to do it anyway. And I'm going to use this brush from NARS. And I'm also going to use it to like contour slightly. And again, I'm going for like a very, like, not too much. I don't want my makeup to look too much, basically. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Shape Tape Concealer, just a little bit, just to put on my eyelids because they're looking a little bit dark. And I'm going to blend it in with a beauty blender. And then I'm going to just contour and I'm going to be using the NARS Foundation Stick in the shade um, Dark 4. I'm going to go back in with this sponge and just kind of fade out the lines and then I'm going to go back in with the Laura Mercier powder and just apply some powder on my forehead. Kind of just like to set my um, foundation. Today I'm going to go in with the Desert Rose blush and it just looks like that. It's like a pinky um like a pinky shade i don't use this that much i'm just gonna pull it on my cheeks but right up here just to bring some color okay i'm really liking the way my makeup looks um very natural i'm gonna come off camera put my lashes on and then actually should i do my lips no i'm gonna do my lashes then come back and do my lips so you guys can see the final results so this is the finished look i hope you guys like it like, can you believe i'm wearing a tinted moisturizer like this is a tinted moisturizer wow wow and my face just feels like i've got nothing on my face like literally nothing and then for my lips i have the charlotte tilbury pillow talk intense and then i used um, mac really me and then on top i have fenty beauty in the shade Fenty Glow, the lip gloss. And that's it really, really simple. Do not like use anything different. I haven't actually set my face. I'm gonna leave it for now because I like the powdery look, especially that I'm gonna be filming loads. Um, I want to, I want this to be less shine, but thank you guys for watching. First impressions is application wise, really nice. Um, with everything on top, it actually looks like my, it actually looks like I'm wearing foundation. I'm really happy with how my makeup turned out in today's video. I really enjoyed doing this video. It's been ages since I've sat down in front of a camera, but thank you so much. Let me know what you guys think of the final results. Let me know in the comment section if you have tried the foundation or you've tried the moisturizer or you've tried the powder. I just really am in love with Fenty products and I want to sort of build up my makeup collection with just solely her products if you stayed until the end of the video thank you so much for watching and for those who are new here don't forget to subscribe and watch my other fenty reviews and i will see you guys in my next video bye